for just I am up at six this morning because we're going to uh, a place gym an outing and um, yeah I um, actually wanted to talk about bread so bread everybody buys bread a lot of people buy bread but um, a lot of people don't like the outside of the bread, the crust of the bread. And I just want to say that's wrong. That's wrong. the wrong way to make bread. Because bread is supposed to be something, the crust is supposed to be yummy. It's supposed to be good. There's a lot of art in developing the crust of the bread in traditional bread. I read this book a long time ago called The Ginge Baker and um, he goes into depth of how to make different breads, how many times to knead it, how many times to punch it down, how many times to let it rise after you punch it down, what to do, and I've made lots of bread myself. Um, so I've found that a lot of it is developing the crust. Sorry, I have a burp. I just ate bread. <laughs> anyway, that aside, <clears throat> I um the the crust of the bread. Okay, you you do things like put it in the oven steam to develop the crust. You do things like brush the outside with an egg wash or a butter wash or a water and salt wash which is just water and salt put together and then you, you put it over the top you do things like put herbs on it or put garlic or put um sorry pecorino or no a bulb not one herb <laughs> um you put um poppy seeds on it which I have just been really excited about poppy seeds. Um, the uh, the crust is really important, and if you're throwing away part of your bread because you don't like it, there's a problem. <laughs> That's money going down the drain. And um, I've watched these how it's made videos, and it looks like what they've done is that they spray the outside with that chemical to preserve the bread. I think it's to preserve the bread, but they spray it with a chemical and it tastes bitter. It's not supposed, bread is not supposed to taste bitter. So I guess my conclusion is that if we make our own bread, life is better. <laughs> I do buy bread a lot of the times and I have bought bread for the last several months. But if I make my own bread, then it tastes better. I eat the whole thing. I can eat the whole thing. And it, the whole thing tastes good. Sometimes I have a lot left over and I just can't eat it. But if I can eat the whole thing, like make small loaves at the same time, like, okay. After you punch down the dough, you shape it. You have to shape smaller loaves so you last longer. You have to put the rest in the freezer. And then reheat it. <clears throat> also, a tip for dry bread. Dry bread is like the molecules just go in further into itself and it just like if you heat it up again, it goes back to normal or goes back to a fluffier bread and it actually can taste better if you cook it this certain amount of time. If you cook it too long, of course it burns it, but um, you don't need to waste bread is what I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you for bearing with me and I'll see if I can draw a little illustration 
as I'm talking. This is a pen. This is a stylus. And um, it was funny. I went to Walmart and I asked someone to help me find one. And he was just like, they're over there. He was like really proud about it. And it's like, it's over there. And I go and look over the entire store and it's not there. So I asked him again. He's like, they're right there. <laughs> so I got them. But thank you anyway. If you're watching and take care. Mine's just a stylus.